everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Design, and I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful winter owls card. Um, we've created a night sky for him to fly through. There's a couple of techniques on here I'm gonna show you. This is a very popular bundle in the current uh, mini catalog from Stampin' Up. Uh, I, I was very intrigued with this stamp set, and I think maybe I've used it more than anything else from the mini catalog so far. Um, so many of you asked for it, and I have multiple videos and projects on my blog for you this week. So if you're looking for more ideas, click the link here on YouTube, hop back to my blog and get the details on this project as well as several others. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is put our owl together. If you've noticed, um, he's got some, some silver tipped wings here. And what I've done is use this die right here to cut him out from basic white. And then I've used these two dies to cut the wings from silver foil. Now, the first thing I wanna do is grab my um, take your pick tool with a brush tip. And I am trying to find my foam piece. It was sitting here. Let's see, I've got this, we'll try this. Your, your die, when you, when you buy the die brush, it comes with a little foam um, piece that goes underneath your die cutting. This isn't it, <laughs> it, it uh, would work better if I had the right one, but it comes with it um, when you buy it so that you can get all the little goodies out. All right, so to get these underneath our wings, we are actually going to cut them apart. We're gonna cut just the edge and use just the edge, okay? So grab your paper snips and you wanna cut about a third of it away. Okay, and this part is just trash. And then we'll do this over here on this side. Now, one thing you could do, which is not what I did, but um, if you are a little bit afraid of liquid glue making a mess, you can cut your owl with an adhesive sheet on the back. I didn't do that, um, so I'm gonna just use liquid glue. So I'm gonna put a little bit there along the edges, and then I'm gonna get the wing and I'm gonna line it up here at the top and then just kind of attach it behind like that. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Back here, like that. And I'm gonna set that aside to dry. I'm gonna lay it upside down on the other side of my desk and let it dry. All right, now while we are waiting for that, I've got, we've got several other things that we're gonna do. The first thing that we're going to do is that night sky. And uh, we're gonna stamp the branch. Maybe it's a tree, I'm not sure. We're gonna stamp it multiple times here on a quarter sheet of um, Misty Moonlight. And I'm gonna use Misty Moonlight ink and I'm gonna stamp it in both corners. And then I'm gonna stamp down here and down here. And then I'm gonna stamp without re-inking. So we've got lighter in the middle, okay? Like that. Two in the middle that are lighter. All right, now we're gonna take it and emboss it with a Snowflake Sky embossing folder. And you want to make sure that the, the um, logo on your embossing folder faces, well, the, the, the part that you stamped faces the, the side with the logo. That way the raised surface will be on this side, okay? So put it face up with the logo on top. Then we're gonna run it through. With just that plate number four and plate number one. move that out of the way and check it out. Well, let's see, I've got to put this over here, otherwise it's gonna fall. All right, and so now, can you see that raised edge? Now we're gonna soften it, and we're gonna take white uh, craft ink and a blending brush. And I'm gonna get some of that white ink, and I'm just gonna very softly go around the edges. All right, and I have a little bit too much here, so make sure there's not too much on your blending brush. 
And I'm really just gonna kind of cover the whole thing lightly. It's really gonna soften up those images and it's gonna bring out your embossed raised um, images as well. All right, let's see if I can soften this part up. It's just kind of a snowy night sky. All right, so now let's take, I have cut out a moon, if you will, from, uh, this is a stylish shape white circle. And I'm going to use boho blue. And this time I'm going to use a dauber. And this time I want it to be really light. So I'm going to make sure I have tapped off here. And I'm just going to kind of dot that moon like that so we have some texture on there. Just a little bit. You don't want it to be too dark. Okay. All right. So now we've got that piece. And let's emboss our sentiment. I've got a berry burst strip right here and I'm going to stamp sending love right there on the strip and the strip is pretty skinny so what I would recommend is stamping it on a larger piece of Berry Burst cardstock and then trimming it after you've done all of this and it's just the height I always say it's the height and the width of the word just a little bit longer you're making a rectangle. Now that I stamped it in Versamark and I have um, uh, sprinkled white embossing powder on it, I'm gonna hit it with a heat tool until it's nice and shiny. Takes about 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. You could see it turns bright white. My strip is about half an inch wide and I'm going to flag the end of it here with my pick a banner punch get it centered oh well you have to unlock it first <laughs> they lock flat for storage all right there we go we've got that okay I think we're ready to put it together let's look at our owl it should be nice and dry um, let's get dimensionals and we'll start with our moon right up here and our owl I'm going to put a dimensional right there so that you don't see it through those holes and I'll put him up like that isn't that gorgeous that owl is just absolutely beautiful all right, now I'm gonna adhere the strip flat right there. And we are going to layer this on a piece of basic white. Now the measurements will be over there on my blog. There's a free PDF with measurements and supplies that you can save. Okay, and then we've got a berry burst card base. I think Berry Burst and Misty Moonlight go really well together. Put that down flat. All right, now for the inside, let's bring back over our grid paper. I'm going to stamp our branch a couple of times. I think we'll do once in full strength like that and then stamp off again like there's a tree behind it and then how about that moon there you go I don't always carry over the design onto the inside of the card but man it really does make your card just takes it up to another level so while your stamps are out while your ink is out stamp something on the inside of your card it just really kind of gives you another little surprise for the recipient. All right, last but not least, I have some of our elegant trim in silver, and I'm gonna tie just kind of a small bow. Not too big. And we will get a mini glue dot. 
well, if I could find the where they start, there we go. All right. And I'm gonna put that right there. And then I thought, you know, we need a few stars on our card. So I have pulled out my metallic enamel effects in silver, and I'm just gonna add a few stars to our night sky. Now, when you do this, you wanna just pull straight up. It kind of creates a like a little Hershey's, Hershey kiss, but it will dry in a rounded dot. And there you have it. Now, you can see here how it's going to dry a little bit shinier, right? Set this aside somewhere not on your desk, okay? Make sure it's away, because I promise you, if you leave it on your desk, you're gonna set something on top of it, and then you have to start all over. So don't do that. Set it far away on your desks, on the other side of the room so it can dry. It takes about 15 or 20 minutes. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube and hop over to my blog. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, happy stamping, bye-bye.